So let's investigate our options, shall we? What do I need? We need species and two colors mandatory, and then it's just a bunch of variants. Okay, so what do we have? We have, okay, species one. Fair enough. Size. We have size. We don't have any color. Okay. What do we need to get colors? Oh, I've got some, in fact. <laughs> color A, color A. Okay, so I've got two color A's. What do we need for color B? Fish eggs. Okay, so butterfly color A, fish color B. Plankton A, T3 mutagen. Okay, so it's all tier threes. Oh, that's only tier two. That really good though. <laughs> kind of don't want to use those. I know I could just take some out of somewhere first. So B, there, that. Research. And that'll be one of them. But yes, the idea is like I could take some out. If I have any Provios, uh, actually no, Provios is A, not B. So we, we're going to get one of these two. Gerrero or Crom. Do we still have a... We do still have a thing in here. What are these? Oh, these are the good ones. These should go somewhere else. These need to go upstairs. What have we got in here? Yeah, 100. Get out. 500. Alright, and then what have I got in these? 100s. 300s. Okay, so the 100s could come out. Have a 250 instead. But the 100s are definitely the things that I want to get rid of for coloration i don't care about huge varieties of things so now i've got two color bees so first species one color a b and then skin pattern and then size they're going to be the same size but we're going to end up with a, an, a one and a two in terms of species synthesize take that out New life forms, craft first DNA life form. And then we do basically the same thing but with species two. Synthesize. Alright, let's go sit these animals out and then I'm gonna take a break. Animal multiplier one thousand percent. So first things first, what are you? You're funny. So you're the species two. Okay, species two is a little lizard like thing. What's species one? A land shark. All right, why not? <laughs> uh, funny. Uh, animal feeder, ah, oh, yeah, so honey's in here currently. All right, so we have some animals now. We have some mammals. We're 24% of the way to complete as well, which is nice. Um, we should actually have a proper animal breakdown somewhere, but we can at least see this tick up slowly. It's ticking up faster than insects now, so there's that. So that's kind of interesting. And we have a 19,000% increase on those. I should send up another one to make it a nice round 12. Where have they gone? There's one of them. I don't know where the other one's gone. I'm already pissed off. Alright, well, whatever. Oh, he's over there. Okay. I guess they are small, so... Well, let's just chill. And uh, I'll be back shortly. Yeah, chair does really well at the game. Um... L unless you run out of water. Tier 2 animal food. I haven't even bothered with tier 1. Um, are these guys even eating? I don't know. What's your... Your hunger's only at 55. Oh, you can pet the animals. I got a genetic trait from petting the... What? Huh? Okay, whatever. These... <laughs> oh, it's that time again. <laughs> Oh, it's that time again. Aki 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 well, this is 69 kilos per second of animals. So, ah, here he is. Pet. Genetic trait. What did I get from you? Color. Okay, so I guess some of the things that you put in them, you have a rare chance of getting out of them again. Uh, okay, so we've done species one and two, so now we'll do three. Oh, flowers as well. I didn't even notice that. Just some of the flower seeds give me color B. I've got tons of those. All right, well, that's easy then. <laughs> 
let's see what we end up with anyway. So we've got that, we've got the two colors, we've got size two and an amount of bioluminescence. Oh, hello. They uh, just started pushing me around. So you are the species three then. Okay. And I guess they're going to add more maybe over time. Well, that's cool. We, we have them now. I guess. You know what? I'm just going to take one of you out of there and send you on your way that way. And then the other one can leave whenever it's ready. 71,000 tier tokens. It's not bad. Um, we're just... We're getting more from exploring wrecks than we are from our process, really. But, I don't know. It's more fun to engage in the crafting and trading process than it is just to go dive into wrecks and get randomly rewarded sometimes. Um, what else was I doing? I, I should finish off this portal. <laughs> At the very least, I want to try and close off this portal. Maybe open another? Maybe a simpler one instead of one of these really complicated ones? Because um, I'm not sure the complicated ones are worth the added effort. I feel I could rip through a basic one more easily. And like the most you need to really get is the materials that it takes to open it. So long as you get that, you're kind of golden. We were experimenting with using flares to tell us where to go. Um, so blue to go this way means there's still stuff, maybe, but there's a lot of stuff down. Ah, here was the access room. Okay, so there's still some things in here. Let's just grab out some of the stuff, another flare as well. Um, we won't necessarily want all of it because like obsidian feels wrong taking because we can get that really easily anyway. But yeah, we'll take it for now until we need to exchange it for something else basically. Uh, this one we had not finished with. At the end of the day, if we leave some stuff behind... Oh, there's an explosive thing. Oh, and that goes around the corner too. I wasn't sure. I do have an explosive on me, so I may as well use it. I wasn't sure whether or not it loops around. Rex, yeah. Basically, the idea is that this planet has a device that it's not like Subnautica where it just shoots things down willy-nilly. It's like a gravitational pull that just pulls ships in so they just crash. So at a certain point you unlock a portal generator that allows you to basically use a stargate to bamf around the world and you find procedurally generated locations that have crashed ship remains and they allow you to get more resources. Unfortunately, they're an absolute pain to explore. Okay, we're now done, so let's change this to be red. Yeah, they're, they're an absolute pain in the ass to actually explore, but they do give some sweet rewards and uh, other things that are hard to get. Oh, I didn't pick up any more water actually, so I'm on a bit of a timer. Oops. Grab those. Yeah, let's just get rid of the obsidian. And in fact, even the nitrogen cartridges, because we dig those up, we have a backlog of them. The only things we really care about are the crystals. Even zeolite we have a ton of. We should start being really picky, to be perfectly honest. Mutagens, there's a little bit of a process to making them. Flowers we can't make. But yeah, we should start being much pickier. We're just going to deconstruct that to get the bioplastic nugget out of it. Right, we didn't explore this area at all, did we? There's a couple of chests here. Terra tokens, that's what we're really after. Or oh, a 1200% tree multiplier. Yeah, that's worth it. That's definitely worth it. Other than that, mm, meh. Oh, the fertilizer I don't care about anymore because I can destroy bees to get that. Sounds weird, but the words that come out of your mouth when playing a game like this sometimes. Why they have all the terraforming loot? They were here to terraforming, yes. Well, yeah, we don't read too much into that, right? <laughs> to be fair, the loot they have is not so much terraforming loot. It's more just advanced resources generally. 
they have the tier of tokens but the tokens is like the trading currency sometimes they have these like genetic traits gotta have something for the player yeah the idea is they were just like trading ships or exploration ships or research ships like this has a bunch of biotubes in it so it's safe to assume that it was like a research ship of some sort biological research so it makes sense for it to have some but yes there, there's definitely a large suspension of disbelief going on with some of the stuff was this the place that i wasn't meant to come yeah it's a dead end oh but i deconstructed the flare that i'd put down for that one i think i should deconstruct this flare too now and i'm out of here that will do for this uh, portal quite frankly if there's anything else in that wreck it's too deep for me to care about I managed to get quite a lot of good stuff out of it as it was. I want deep lore. Oh, we could make some up if we want. But I think the idea is this is just an out of a way sort of thing. And there is some relatively deep lore. So that's the fact that there's the warden relic that uh, pulls ships in to make them crash for some reason. I don't know why, but it's there. It was meant to be kind of repelling things, I thought. But I guess the easiest way to repel them is to bring them into their demise so there's that um let's close that portal now and we will look for others yes yeah, so we just want probably a cheap one to be honest actually honestly i, I don't want ones that are difficulty four thank you very much oh there we go rarity one difficulty one we're gonna do that when we can we need a couple more pulsar quartz for that and i don't think i have them i swear just getting rid of stuff out of your inventory takes half the amount of time of exploring the wrecks in the first place <laughs> but yeah bottom line is there's a bunch of crashed stuff around on the various worlds you generate random um portals it's just to keep you going while things tick up basically and allows you to find rare things like this 1200 percent tree tree seed for example which i can then put into my tree spreader here so that 250 becomes 1200 and it's now being boosted by 2700 percent so that's nice and i can always make another one to put the other tree seed back in again really should have put my main base right by the water so i didn't have to keep traveling all the time i wonder what the best way to do that is the best base placement because you don't want to be too far from things like osmium either ideally I don't know it's a bit tricky there we go cool and let's stick that over somewhere over here we could do with a bit more decoration over here there we are Perfect. 58 million in biomass most of that plants and over 200 million oxygen increase and that's the thing is that the top number doesn't matter as much as the amount that increases because it's these units the the smallest units those are the bit that contribute to the individual tti rankings so once we get to a certain point like we've finished the pressure and the heat tracks i mean finished finished all of the tracks so it's purely on focusing on okay that one's going up the fastest let's increase that one more and that's what we've done with these it's a case of well fourteen thousand percent well let's make that even more shall we the fact that with twenty thousand percent the animals isn't even catching up on there yeah because the last thing that we have to unlock is the extraction platform at five tti but our map looks nice now we can see some trees growing around various places and there's a lot more water on it than there used to be so that's also nice we need to explore a bit more to get more warden keys too we only have two of them and i think i need nine uh let's grab a couple of those and some water we're going to drink first we're going to eat second and we're going to open up another portal because why not let's see what a difficulty one looks like shall we we can jump while we're going through the portal that's fun well they have funky frogs i kind of hope that i can pick up some of those as well is there anywhere that i can find the eggs 
Okay, well the wreck is just over there, so that's easy to find. Oh, I should have brought a fusion core. I was hoping there would be some crates. Oh, there are. <laughs> well, that's useless, but I was hoping there'd be some good crates. <laughs> So that I'd be able to get some decent loot without actually having to go into the wreck. Like it was rarity one as well, so it's like this is the most basic ass portal that we could possibly have gone through. <laughs> so it's a bit much to expect that it'll be interesting or have decent stuff for us. There's one crate and that's it. Oh, no, two crates, two crates. And it's just solar flares, uh, solar quartz rather. I don't want solar quartz. Not really. Uh, hang on. Maybe I do want solar quartz. Hmm. Thinking face. Anyway, uh, so as soon as we get to a point where everything branches off, like probably here, let's crack a flare and make it green and that tells us that that's our way back so when we get back to that point we know that's where the exit is oh we've already found this all right so yes i did need to bring a power source with me five thousand tier tokens thank you and a very rare bioluminescent trait i will handily take that thank you very much let's see what else there is down here rocket engine okay well nope oh, another spaceship well, VTOL sort of thing. Three crates in here, nice. A uh, Rima plant, they're quite rare. They're not great, but they are rare. Some more frog eggs. Okay, then another crate. 100, 1000, nice. Tree pot, do I have that? Not sure. All right, any crates in the corridors? Not that I can see. Okay, then that was the way out. All right, so we've been that way. There's just a safe right here. All right. 5,000. Even more. That's brilliant. Yeah, so that's the thing. Is a difficulty one wreck. Like, that seems pretty worth it so far. Oh, and there's a locked door. So that'll get unlocked when we bring the fusion thing in. And then it's just a case of whether or not it'll be worth it in terms of what the fusion door unlocks for us. Up we go. And out we go. So it's already, it's a case of, do we actually care about conjuring up more Pulsar Quartz or using more Pulsar Quartz just for the sake of um, opening a door that might give us good stuff? Feels like there's a little bit of a gambling element almost. Uh, we can pr place the frog eggs down in another amphibian pond. I mean, as it is, we can just swap that out for that. These ones are really ugly, but hey, 500% multiplier. What can you do? Uh, and then we can actually extract whatever from those. That's skin pattern, which is kind of nice. What do we need for that? Yeah, three pulsar quartz, two osmium, and a thing. Quite a lot of stuff, that's the thing. Is it's a pretty hefty investment. We only have one of those, which means we need to make two more of those. And to make those, we need, what was it? A zeolite each, I think. I think an osmium each. And I can't remember what else. Let's double check. Uh, yeah. Iridium. Okay, one each of those basic materials, basically. Okay, so two of those. And then two of those and two of those. We've got so many rods that we can deconstruct. So we're not short of those materials in the slightest. So that's good. So we can do that. And then we can do that. Uh, let's check. Okay, this is now empty. That's interesting. It demands honey. It's not been getting any. How are you guys going? Your hunger is zero. Yeah, we need to feed you, it seems. Oh, hang on. They can probably just eat, like, this stuff, right? We're going to demand... Actually, we'll get rid of that and we'll demand squash. And we can hopefully get some turning up immediately. Yeah, if they're hungry, they won't give traits, they won't grow, and they won't generate terraformation values. Can eat the same thing you can eat. Yep. So there you go. You can now have some squash. Come and get it, guys. Dinner's ready. I don't know if I can feed you manually. Okay, you you have been fed. 
So you... Okay, colour A. Nice. What about you? Are you hungry? No. Good. Species. That's pointless. Given... They, I feel they shouldn't give the species one. Because that's just such a basic one. Right, let's go through the portal again. I guess it's acceptable if you don't get the pulsar quartz that you at least get some of the components that you would need, like iridium rods or uranium rods. Osmium and zeolite, mm, meh. Gee, is there anything that you need for pulsar quartz that's that unique? Not really, I guess it's pretty free to make. There's pretty much only one door, I think, this one here. And we get a magnetar quartz, wow. That, that was the most useless thing. If that's seriously the only thing, I think that was. I think that was seriously the only thing we got out of using that fusion thing. So that's a waste. <laughs> good to know. Yeah, good to know. And, and once it's in, you can't take it out, unfortunately. It's locked. You have to be quick. You can take them out immediately. It, like if you have someone sitting right next to it i do feel that maybe you can if you're quick enough in fact was there another flare in one of these to replace the one that i used yeah good okay we'll take the obsidian too why not all right we're out of here so basically the gamble for the really low rarity wrecks doesn't pay off probably it's less likely to pay off but you're more likely to find some more goodies without any further investment okay so we can close that portal now uh, we could make two more creatures as well if we want to couldn't we species two and three i can't remember which ones we really want but we have two color b's we have a color a we have a skin pattern color. We have two different types of bioluminescence. We have a size. Okay. So we need another color A, which is from butterflies. Okay, so we want to go check our ecosystem, which is here. Well, it's it's something. They're not great, but they're definitely something. Rear larvae just gives us species. Common larvae gives us size. Keep the rear larvae out more useful to make better butterflies i think so what have we got we've got species color b color a size bioluminescence and a pattern this is going to be very blue uh we probably want the different color a there we go let's give another couple of animals life shall we pop pop there we go very green so this is now producing quite a lot of animals, which is nice. Alright, well unfortunately I don't think I'm going to get to the full 5 TTI that I had kind of wanted to. Probably just because I haven't really ramped up enough. So our oxygen is ticking up nicely, biomass is ticking up nicely thanks to the animals. So yeah, we're almost halfway there. If we just ramp up on oxygen even more five of those so five bacteria samples we're gonna need a ton of algae and water okay and then one two three four five mutagen tree bark pop pop bang and to think that i poo pooed this when i first built it thinking oh, it's useless why would i need that that's why i need that because i keep picking up rods and i actually need the raw ingredient <laughs> So that's why. Okay. Time to just launch a bunch more rockets. You can build them as soon as you've launched them, but it does some weird stuff that I'd really rather not <laughs> mess with. That would be the speedrun strat for sure, but... <laughs> and then one more after this. So the point is once you start accelerating these and these are really easy to make really once you're limited only on making the rocket engines finding the super alloy and generating the tree bark super alloy you could mine so there's that 
Okay, now what does it look like? 19,000. There we go. And what's this number up to? 273 million. Yeah, so if we keep going on that... So what do these need? Yeah, Osmium, Zeolite. So we could have an autocraft to just making these, essentially. Uh, we just need to feed it with the raw materials. And they trade for a decent amount too, which is nice. But I need four of those. So ludicrous. These should definitely go into a locker, honestly. But it is funny, so I kind of appreciate it. <laughs> Um, I can't remember exactly what I needed for the portal. One blazer cords, okay. Let's open that up. So, rarity 5, but only a difficulty 3. Yeah, we should really be just spending all of our energy on making more and more oxygen rockets, I think. This is an interesting one. This is very large. Only difficulty three, apparently. But apparently very rare. Now, how many crates are going to be around here is what I want to know. Well, here's one already, so that's a good start. That's got some solar quartz. And a rocket engine. So, And it's also right by the portal entrance, so maybe we shouldn't take anything from it. Ah, okay. Very, very dusty. See where my jump jets can take me. Oop, another crate. Good. Some more tokens. I'm surprised there's trees even growing here. Oop, another crate down here. A couple of that. Sweet. Oh, well, we're getting other cords. We're not getting a refund on the pulsar. I spoke too soon. <laughs> no crates here. Haven't found a wreck yet, interestingly. Okay, well, we've got two Pulsar Quartz. It's going to be interesting to see how close we get to a complete refund for the portal cost. Ah, here we go. Here's the wreck. All the way across. Figures. Now, I don't have a power source on me. Which is kind of irresponsible, because you always need one. But it is interesting to see what you can find before you have one and again it is a bit of a gamble like is it worth it now for this one given that it's a high rarity and higher difficulty it's probably going to be worth it we'll probably get more out than what we put in more pulse like are up to three already which means that we can now make the uh thing that we need so is that need three for a fusion cell anyway oh this is a different looking wreck i like it we go up here instead of just going down a ladder i suspect we'll still go down a ladder yep here we go <laughs> but i like that the entrance to get to it was different oh we need some explosives immediately that's new well not new but different okay we can do that we can drop that hopefully that's enough to blow up those uh we don't have any food so we're going to be limited on that but we're almost out of inventory space already anyway um so okay so straight away we want to drop a flare over here to indicate our way out access card i have a bunch of access cards and i've only found a few doors that actually need them that was useless. Another access card. Okay, so what? what's the bet we'll find a door that needs two access cards? And they've just given me exactly what I need for that already. Even though I've got a backlog. Uh, let's put those away. Tira tokens. Nice, nice. Thousand. Nice. More quartz. Nice. Super alloy rod. Nice. Okay. Another spaceship one. Or another flyer one. More tira tokens. Frog legs. Okay. Mm. Well... Now we've run out of useful stuff. We've mostly just got crystals, so that's interesting. <laughs> it's honestly not been a bad assortment of things. I guess we just accept that we're probably going to come back. Oh, there's another crate over here anyway. What's this got in it? Oh, another good tree. Okay, we're definitely coming back here. So let's put away some of these and take that. 
Okay, so we do want to come back this direction. Also, there's more over here. Yeah, with including another pulsar quartz, in fact. Oh, that's a way down. Okay, uh, let's drop that. Cool. I still haven't actually found where the fusion reactor is. Okay, I'm going to leave that blocked off so I know that I need to go there still, but at least I've used the, the explosive. I could even drop the f a flare and make it blue to indicate, yes, that's a, a place of interest. Whereas this is a dead end. So this isn't actually as big as I thought. Oh, we never came down here, though, I don't think, did we? No, we'll leave that block. Ah, here we go. Fusion reactor's right here. Good. It's nice to know where that is. So I have located that at least. And then we'll be able to figure out from there what doors it unlocks. And we are 60% now of the way to being fully terraformed. Doing those boosts, ramping up the way we have with some oxygen rockets and such has definitely helped. It's not been as complete as I would have liked necessarily, but that's kind of fine. We're at the point though that we can just do some exploration and it just ticks up, you know, like what we're doing with these wrecks, it'll just tick up while we're busy. But if we were really mainlining on it, we would just be sending off rockets, <laughs> really. We do want to have uh, some exploration because we get these tree seeds that are much better. Why is it so bright? What is up with the lighting at the moment? What the hell? Some, I get that the sun's out, but it's just so bright in here. I don't have my light on. Game, are you good? Oh, and now it's going purple. This is really weird what's happening. <laughs> it's, the only reason I want it purple is if a pulsar quartz asteroid is coming down, quite frankly. I think that will do for this episode. The light has gone from like bright white to now bright pink sure whatever let's go into our aquarium shall we lovely so we're up to 3.26 ti dti and ticking up regularly so that's nice but for now thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time why is everything so bright okay save still says saving in progress that's concerning yeah now it says save again okay well, we'll hope that it's saved. <laughs> Exit to main menu, play. Yep, 3.27 TTI. Okay, no, that's fine then. Has it fixed the colors? Kind of? But okay. Well, that'll do. <laughs>